Chip, what have we got here? Uh, this is, I started off, this blazer actually, I'm going to say, kind of set a record at an auction, and I was the guy that bought it. And um, it was the first Resto Mod blazer I had seen. And this goes back to, I think, 27, 2019 or 17. Anyways, the first one I ever saw that went outside of the car arena and it had an LS3 in it, a multi-speed transmission, and all of the, the run gear. Then I brought it back and I can never leave something alone. So I started really messing with it. And uh, I've done so many things to this car, I don't even know where to start uh, working on it, telling you about it. I, I started out with a basic LS3, which is a Corvette motor, and then I pumped it up, I put a cam in it, I've got uh, a fast manifold on it, I increased the uh, spark on the ignition, it's got some headers I put on it, it's got a, you know, cold air intake and some other things that, that we've done. And if you notice the brake canister over there, it doesn't have a vacuum brake system like the 70s, that, that's running off the power steering pump. So I went from 720 pounds of pressure to 1,200 pounds of pressure off the power steering pump, running it through um, a, a hydro boost system. But I had to do that because I wasn't satisfied with the brakes. I wanted it to perform like a new car, so I put Willwood brakes all the way on there, and we had to kind of fabricate the uh, the back uh, backing plates for the uh, disc brakes. But uh, it does have four wheel disc brakes all the way around it and, and a 71 Blazer. Uh, and so it's, it's, I don't know, it's, let's just say it's 500 horsepower conservatively. I don't want to get away from myself with that. But, and then we you know, did a couple things to the engine. If you notice, the, head, the, the manifold covers are all uh, powder coated and stuff. But anyway, so it's got plenty of power. And it's running 411 gears oh, man. with 35 inch tall tires, which seem to work pretty good. And it's got a, a, a CPU unit on it that you can tune it. And I've got a, a guy that custom tunes motors, and so he's he's really done a job there. Ch Chip, there's an awful lot of eye candy in your <laughs> private museum here. And this, when we rounded the corner, like it, it was like a moth to a flame. I, I, I couldn't not stare at it. It's The, well, the thing is just stunning. It's a lot of touches to it. Like, you see this grill, for example? There's black paint on the bottom and the top and chrome on the sides. So depending on where you are, it can look chrome or it can give off the black paint, which goes on top of this DuPont lacquer that we laid up on this thing. And it's got a custom light bar. I didn't want anything that was really nasty. I wanted to keep the 70s look. And uh, if you can notice underneath there, it's got a dual Fox yes. steering system on it uh, for helping the tires on these smaller axles of the 150. And then you've got powder coated. See those trusses? That's a 70s truss. That's what they call an axle truss that goes from one side to the other. And it hooks up underneath the chunk and it stiffens the axle. A lot of people don't have those on there and they would do that. And then, then you've got your, your bigger oil capacity, B&M, the old B&M thin coolants, and I painted in between them and just left the thin silver. And uh, we dropped the steering on it, we dropped the sway bar on it, that's why the sway bar is so low, so there's no, the thing steers amazing. And it's got a three and a half to lock gear in the steering. The steering mechanism, the box, is different than what came on it, so it handles like a new box. I mean, there's no wiggle wobble or all that. In fact, if you come around here, the whole the whole thing, the LED lights in the thing, the uh, steering, come inside the vehicle. I tried to keep it as stock as possible, but you know, it's beautiful. I got a Momo wheel in here. I put a tilt in it column inside. The gauges are all um, electronic digital gauges, but they're, they look old. The coat of digital does a great job with that stuff. I put power windows in it, even in these thin doors, with the spring. So they work perfect. It's got Bluetooth if you answer my phone. Uh, if you'll notice the center consoles out of a 2016 Silverado, it'll charge my phone right on top there oh, like man. a new truck. And it's got air conditioning from Vintage Air. Um, it's got all this custom embossed leather on the doors and on the seats. 
where we had it in ball. Spectacular. You know, Chip, it looks factory. It's so well done. It looks factory, but it's like it's like next. It's like a if they built one in 2023. It's just. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's leather. Wow. And, and I love missile switches out of airplanes. So okay. In the front of the console, there you can see those two red switches. Those are from my lights. I had to add missile switches. Got to have that. Got to have that. Love the fighters plane stuff. But uh, yeah, the whole interior has been redone, and the stereo system's got the old equalizer hanging underneath it. It's, it's running a uh, blah pump system of power underneath there with some woofers under the back. And I'm not a boom boomer at all, but it does just has a nice sound. You want to put the rock and roll on to get the blood flowing though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like the Kansas or a Boston or something like that, or Led Zeppelin, whatever. But uh, wow, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. And even in the back of the tailgate, these things weigh so much because of fiberglass. You used to have to use both hands on this. I took and modified a hydraulic system off a new Ford truck. So that's all hydraulic? Yeah, and see they got gas cylinders on them. So this thing has no weight at all. Close it. Oh, and, and I put this... Uh, black diamond plate in inside going down the sides add a little contrast to it what's and, what's uh, the ceiling made out of it's a stock blazer still and see in 71 it's brand reason, new the reason i like this thing is because it goes all the way if you take the roof off it goes all the way to the front windshield like a jeep oh wow in 73 they started 73 74 i can't remember they, they ran across the top, and th the top was a different section than what was over the driver's head. But this one can go like a Jeep. So the whole, it just the had to be a windshield. Top, see, it goes all the way to the front A pillar. Well done. You, you, can't, you can hardly tell that it's removable. The, the fit and finish is impeccable. Yeah, it, it, it does good. And uh, I forgot to tell you about the exhaust. That's three inch mineral exhaust. And what I mean by mineral is you no know, pipe bender was on there because when you bend it with a pipe bender, you, you push in the reverse side of the bend, you know. So it was all hand welded three inches all the way to the end. This thing sounds good. And again, you got the same trusses, the same rear full of disc brakes. Um, you know, it, everything on this thing has just been done. Fox suspension. Uh, and the wheels, I to talk to you about the wheels. It's got the reservoir Fox shocks. But the wheels themselves are custom made by EVO in California. Wow. And they will do anything you want as long as it's safe and, you know, meets all the DOT requirements. Now, I like the Chevrolet um, uh, Rally Sport wheels, but I didn't want 15 inch wheels. I wanted 17s and I wanted something aluminum. So what this is, there's 10 holes here. They go around, like a Camaro had five holes. It looks like a factory original rim. Well, it is. Every bend in this thing is exactly the same as the stock rim. So it's it's an aluminum cup of one piece. Look, even this is an aluminum piece. One off. One off. It's just blown No plastic out. over it's here. Just a square, <laughs> it's just a square piece of aluminum, and that they just make it. The raised white letter BF Goodrich Altria. It just looks, the whole truck looks period correct, you know, yet, but it's so much better than what it ever was new. Yeah, when you just gotta kind of, this thing, when you crank it up, it sounds like a cam. And this Please thing, do. You know, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I haven't cranked this one in a while. Blazer in the world, I would say. I think I, they can't be anything better than this. Sounds awesome. Sounds really good.
That was worth the wait. <laughs> that thing sounds. This oh, thing, this thing, punch, it man. barks. Is uh, has a, a different, uh, even louder bark than, than the TRX. The TRX has got like a raspier. Yeah, this this sounds absolutely fantastic. The rear quarter view on this thing. More than the 350 What's it like driving this thing? It's like. A modern car. I meant because the steering geometry has all been everything about this is just not a jacked up truck. It, it, even the, the, the rear suspension springs are arced up, and uh, it's just it's it's. I ran out of things to do, but I'll come up with something. But uh, it's it's pretty nice. There's that new steering unit up there. See how much smaller it is than the old 71 unit. He kind of mimics that of an 81 Trans Am type of thing. It looks almost identical to that. Everything looks factory, brand new, like it just came out of the. Yeah. But like it looks factory, but way better than ever was at the factory. <laughs> so GM quit selling the LS motor, and that's going to make everybody's job a little tougher, I think. It's these engines are so easy to put in, and they come with all the transmissions you want. And it, like I said, this is a multi-speed transmission. It's not the old three. You put it in D, and you've got three gears. So you can put any transmission in them. You can put a four-speed with an overdrive. You can put a six-speed. You can do whatever you want. Fit and finish is off the hook on this one. Chip, thank you for sharing this absolutely stunning piece of Americana, America muscle. And as always, God bless the United States of America.